And now joining us live all the way from Aberdeen in Scotland is Aisha Yusufu, the co-convener, bring back our girls to push the conversation further. Thank you, Aisha, for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And how are you doing? I'm doing great, and I hope you are too. I am. Thank you for asking. Now, in an exclusive interview with the Nobel laureate, Wally Shoinka, he says he does not believe anyone is in charge of Asurok. What is your thought on this? Uh, well, that's precisely the fact, and that's just the gospel truth. There are no two ways about it. I have said that repeatedly. Uh, we do not have a president in Nigeria, and the earlier we all accept that uh, fact as painful as it, 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 uh, as painful as it is, the better it is for us. Uh, I have repeatedly said what we have in the person of ma retired Major General Muhammad Buhari is more of a travel blogger and blogger and also a fashion model. And that's basically what he has been uh, very good at doing. And unfortunately, with the COVID-19, he hasn't been able to travel the way he normally does. And then, of course, so the modeling uh, continues. That's just the way things are. We do not have a president. There's nobody in charge. Everybody is doing what they want to do in their own area. And that's why we consistent. We don't see consistency in this government. We see different people doing different things. One thing is said, another is done, because, of course, there's no leadership. All right. Now, what many have raised questions about this present administration. What worries you the most in terms of leadership? What, what worries me the most is the fact that there is no empathy. There is no... Uh, there's abs there is disdain for the people. There is no care whatsoever. So we have uh, a government uh, with a president, uh, uh, with, uh, with somebody in charge, because we do not have a president, who, who doesn't care for the people, who doesn't care whether they are being killed or not, who doesn't care whether they go hungry, who doesn't care whether he, he divides the country further. And so for me, basically, it's that attitude of not caring for the pain of the people, the suffering of the people, the yearnings of the people, the fact that Nigeria is breaking up right before our eyes. And uh, for me, that, that is almost uh, unfortunately something I, I just can't wrap my head around it. Lastly, Aisha, as a human rights activist, what is your recommendation for a leadership that resonates to all and answers the needs of the people? Well, for me, my recommendation is the fact that we should have a leadership that cares, a leadership that feels the pain of the people, the yearnings of the people, a leadership that feels that it's not about being praised, it's not about being recognized for what they're doing, it's about ensuring that everybody in Nigeria is, is, is well taken care of, everybody in Nigeria is cared for, every part of the nation, everybody feels a sense of belonging because right now we people are more divided from some parts uh, uh, from the country are being made to feel as if they are the ones who earn everything and they are the ones in charge everywhere and then another part of the country is being neglected that's not what leadership is all about there should be inclusiveness and unfortunately we've not had that uh, with this present administration human rights activists and co-convener bring back our girls Aisha Yusufu it's been a pleasure having you join us on the news Thank you. Thank you so much for having me.